February 18, 2024. A Falcon 9 rocket pierces through the evening sky from Cape Canaveral, carrying its payload toward orbit. Eight minutes later, something unprecedented unfolds. The booster touches down not on familiar American waters, but on a drone ship positioned in the crystal clear waters of the Bahamas. This isn't just another successful landing for SpaceX, it's the dawn of a new era in spaceflight. The first time in history a Falcon 9 has landed in foreign waters, a milestone that transforms how we think about launch operations. But that's not all. While SpaceX continues pushing boundaries with the Falcon 9, we've finally received answers about that mysterious lost upper stage from early February. The fragments that appeared in Western Poland tell a compelling story about the challenges of spaceflight and why SpaceX's vision for the future might be more crucial than ever. Today, we're exploring how these two events, one triumphant, one cautionary, are shaping the future of space travel. From groundbreaking international partnerships to the quest for full rocket reusability, this is a story about pushing boundaries, learning from setbacks, and constantly moving forward. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, and these developments are changing the game for the entire space industry. Let's dive right in. The story of how SpaceX revolutionized spaceflight has been told many times. But what happened on February 18th marks a turning point that few saw coming. As the Falcon 9 thundered off Launch Complex 40 that evening, the future of space exploration was about to change forever. For years, we've watched these launches follow a familiar pattern. The rocket lifts off from American soil, soars through the atmosphere, and returns to either land or a drone ship in American waters. It's a dance we've seen hundreds of times, each landing a testament to SpaceX's mastery of reusability. But this time was different. This time, the rocket was charting a course for international waters. The Bahamas' crystal clear waters have long been a destination for tourists seeking paradise. Now they're becoming something entirely different, a gateway to space. Deputy Prime Minister Isaac Chester Cooper's voice carried unmistakable pride as he addressed viewers during the SpaceX livestream. This puts us at the cutting edge of innovation, he declared, his words carrying the weight of history in the making. For a small country of 400,000 people to participate in the aerospace industry, this is huge. And he's right. This isn't just about where a rocket lands. It's about democratizing access to space. The Bahamas, a nation that has never had direct involvement in spaceflight, is now playing a crucial role in humanity's journey to the stars. Think about that for a moment. A country known primarily for its tourism is now helping shape the future of space exploration. But this partnership isn't just about making history. It's about making spaceflight more efficient. The Bahamas location southeast of Florida creates a perfect sweet spot for missions requiring a southeastern trajectory. When a rocket launches east, it gets a free boost from Earth's rotation. By positioning the drone ship near the Bahamas, SpaceX can take maximum advantage of this effect, significantly increasing the payload capacity for each mission. The weather factor can't be overlooked either. 
While Florida's Space Coast deals with frequent weather delays, especially during winter months, the Bahamas offers more stable conditions. This means fewer scrub launches, more reliable schedules, and ultimately more missions reaching orbit. It's a game changer for SpaceX's customers who need predictable launch windows. But there's a deeper significance here that goes beyond operational efficiency. This success marks the first time a Falcon 9 has launched from one country and landed in another, a capability that only exists in theory for most launch providers. As Kiko Donchev, SpaceX's Vice President of Launch puts it, this brings us one step closer to making spaceflight aircraft-like. That's a powerful vision. Imagine a future where rockets operate more like international airlines, taking off from one country and landing in another as a matter of routine. While other companies are still trying to achieve their first successful landings, Spa the timing of these two events, the groundbreaking Bahamas landing and the discovery of the upper stage debris, creates an interesting juxtaposition. On one hand, we see SpaceX pushing the boundaries of what's possible with international operations. On the other, we're reminded of why continuing to innovate and improve is so crucial. Looking at the bigger picture, these developments are reshaping the entire launch industry. While competitors like Blue Origin's New Glenn, ULA's Vulcan, and ESA's Ariane 6 are still working to establish themselves, SpaceX is already thinking about the next evolution of spaceflight. The Bahamas Agreement could be just the beginning. As more countries see the potential benefits of participating in the space economy, we might see similar partnerships emerge worldwide. The implications for global transportation are equally exciting. SpaceX's experience with international rocket operations could prove invaluable as they develop Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation capabilities with Starship. If Falcon 9 can already operate across international boundaries, it sets a promising precedent for future point-to-point -point travel that could connect any two locations on Earth within an hour. But perhaps most importantly, these developments represent a shift in how we think about space access. It's no longer just about getting to orbit, it's about making spaceflight as routine and reliable as air travel. The Bahamas partnership shows how space operations can integrate into existing international frameworks, while the upper stage incident highlights why continuing to innovate on safety and reliability is crucial. This is what makes SpaceX's approach unique. They're not just solving today's challenges, they're actively working to prevent tomorrow's problems. The push for full reusability the expansion of international operations, the constant refinement of their systems, it's all part of a larger vision to make space access truly universal and reliable. As we watch these developments unfold, one thing becomes clear. The future of space flight won't be confined to the traditional launch sites we're familiar with today. It will be a truly global endeavor, with multiple countries playing crucial roles in humanity's journey to the stars. The Bahamas' entry into the space industry might seem like a small step, but it represents a giant leap toward this more inclusive future. And for those who might question whether such rapid progress is sustainable, SpaceX's track record speaks for itself. Despite occasional setbacks, the company's relentless focus on innovation and improvement has consistently paid off. Each challenge they encounter whether it's figuring out how to land rockets on drone ships or dealing with unexpected debris, becomes an opportunity to make their systems safer and more reliable. The space industry is at a crucial turning point as traditional aerospace companies struggle to adapt to the new realities of reusable rockets and rapid launch cadences. SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. This latest achievement, successfully operating across international boundaries, isn't just another milestone. It's a glimpse of the future they're working to create, one where space access is truly global, reliable, and routine. 
For the Bahamas, this partnership represents an opportunity to be at the forefront of the space economy. For SpaceX, it's another step toward their ultimate goal of making humanity a spacefaring civilization. And for the rest of us, we're witnessing the transformation of spaceflight from an exceptional event into something as routine as international air travel, one landing at a time. The convergence of these two events, a historic international landing and the discovery of upper stage debris, tells us something profound about where spaceflight is headed. While SpaceX expands its operational reach to the Bahamas, laying the groundwork for truly global space operations, they're simultaneously pushing toward full reusability with Starship. Each step forward, each lesson learned, brings us closer to a future where space travel is as routine as air travel. This isn't just about SpaceX anymore. It's about transforming how humanity accesses space, from the shores of Florida to the crystal waters of the Bahamas, from the drawing boards of Starship to the unexpected findings in Poland, we're witnessing the birth of a new era in spaceflight. What are your thoughts on SpaceX's international expansion? Drop a comment below with Going Global if you're excited about this new chapter in space exploration. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for the latest updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Turn on notifications to stay informed about all the exciting developments in space exploration. February 18, 2024. A Falcon 9 rocket pierces through the evening sky from Cape Canaveral, carrying its payload toward orbit. Eight minutes later, something unprecedented unfolds. The booster touches down not on familiar American waters, but on a drone ship positioned in the crystal clear waters of the Bahamas.